is exactly how I supported a room full of teenagers in decreasing anxiety a minimum of three to five points in four minutes flat. The mistake that I see people make when we're talking about sitting with our feelings and feeling our feelings is that we get too in our head. We start to think about the feelings, we start to judge the feelings, we travel to the past or to the future and make meaning out of those emotions that is more than just processing and feeling the emotion within your body. In one of the groups that I ran at our teen support center, we practiced feeling your feelings. The first thing was I had them identify a fear, something like fear of public speaking, fear of being rejected, and on a zero to 10 scale, rate how intense that fear was for them if 10 is the greatest. Next, we practiced actually feeling that feeling, and here's what that looks like. I had them say in their head, fear of rejection, notice where I feel that in the body. Fear of rejection, notice where I feel that in the body, and keep coming back to what am I noticing in my body? Is it a tightness in my chest? Is it an energy throughout my body? Is it a lump in my throat? What am I noticing? Notice, sit with that emotion, go back to how it's showing up inside the body. That is so important and a critical step that you can't miss if you truly want to process your feelings. The results were typical across the board for everyone that was willing to sit with and tolerate the emotion. Emotions spiked up. At some point, they became the most intense and then they started to come down. And every single person in the group who engaged in the activity reported a three to five point reduction in that anxiety. Your body has the ability to process your emotions when you provide it with the space in the container. You sit with and notice how the emotions are showing up in the body.